All right, Jimmy, you built your new house. Let's look at what the f the truth. <laughs> So you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to build your own player home for Skyrim on Xbox. So let's go ahead and talk about this wonderful mod so you can be prepared. The first thing you want to do after downloading the Interact Build Decorate mod is to head over to a lumber mill. Now the easiest way to do this is by traveling straight over to Riverwood. Once you are there, you will find a new crafting table and in it, you will find several recipes for crafting your very own player home. The mod page does state that there is a specific way to build a proper cabin. You will need to first build your foundations, then your floors, then the frames and the walls, and finally the roofs. Otherwise, you're going to have a sad time trying to build something decent or enjoyable. Now before you do start building, I highly recommend you grab the book called Decorating Tips, found in the new crafting station, which will teach you the interact power. Once you have that activated, you will be able to properly place the necessary parts and use a line to build base to move a part in line with the foundation below it. You can also use a line adjacent to move foundations or stairs in line with the foundations beside it. After that, you can hit build option to lock what you've built in place. So now that you know how to build a nice little home, let's talk about the interact power for a little bit. With the interact power, most furniture, weapons, armors, or other items can be taken and stored in your inventory and then taken out and placed anywhere you want in the world in real time. Not only that, but you can turn certain monsters and animals into trophies, which you can then mount anywhere you want. This is great for when you just purchased your first home and want to spruce it up a bit and want to show off your hard work. If you're not looking to turn monsters into trophies, you can give them a proper burial. I would take the corpse and put it near a graveyard or you know what? You can make your own graveyard. Now, I don't want to spoil all of what the rest of this mod does, as I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself and make sure that you read the description of it. I do want to go over one last bit that I thought was really cool and immersive, and that is the face washing option. Now, you can craft a bowl, pot, cauldron, or a wash basin, which will allow you to open a limited character creation menu letting you customize your appearance. Wow, this mod is super freaking awesome. I cannot believe this is on Xbox either. Normally something like this is found on PC, yet here we are proven wrong again. What a time to be a console player. Well, that's gonna be it for me today. I will be uploading an updated video on my progress with this mod as I'm using this mod in my current load order Let's Play. So when I build what I view is the perfect player home, I can't wait to showcase it. If you download this mod, I'd love to see what you all come up with by submitting it to my Discord server, Gamers Paradise. Well, once again, I will see you all later. As always, here's to a happy life and to many more adventures.